Hi guys, my name's Andrea and this is my first booktube video. I'm sorry it's not going to be very good, the camera's not a very good quality one, but I am planning on getting a new one soon. I thought I'd introduce myself and tell you how I discovered booktube, because I only discovered it like about a month and a half ago. Um, I've always been a big reader, uh, I've always taken out lots of books from the library, bought books, given books away, had books for Christmas and birthdays. Mostly I collect books on Hollywood history and old classic Hollywood stars from the beginning to about 1970. Not that there's anything wrong with the stars we've got now or what all the films made after 1970. I just prefer classic Hollywood films. Um, I collect mainly Marilyn Monroe biographies and books and I have over 300, probably about 350 now. And I've been collecting those since 1990. And it was because of my Hollywood history interest that I discovered BookTube. I was surfing in YouTube looking for videos on the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles. Obviously that's now been demolished and a school built in its place, but I wanted to, to look at videos of it. On that video, I, I found one video of the Ambassador, watched that, and that linked to some interviews with a guy that runs Dearly Departed Tours, and his YouTube handle is Dearly Departed Tours. And he was talking about the Ambassador Hotel and times he's visited it, visited it even. Um, on the next up was his bookshelf tour of his massive book collection. The bookshelf tour he did was about an hour long, which was really, really long, but I enjoyed it and there were loads of books I have read and quite a few I hadn't, so I made a few notes. And while I was watching that, I noticed in the recommended bar that there were other bookshelf tours and I'm like, ooh, books, love books, gonna go and have a look. So I started surfing bookshelf tours and then found lots of other bookshelves and lots of other people posting about the books they like. I've now subscribed to about 30 or 40 booktubers and I'm slowly working my way through. Unfortunately that means my, oh I must read that book list is getting very, very long. So that's how I discovered booktube. Um, you know my interests are mostly books on Hollywood but I also read a lot of fiction and books on ancient history, books on, um, oh, I don't know, uh, self-healing, spells, witchcraft, history of witchcraft, photography is another one of my hobbies, so I've got a lot of books on photography. I've also, as you can see in the back here, these are all plays. I do a lot of theatre as well, so, <laughs> so I've got quite a lot of hobbies. Yeah, very busy. So anyway, books I bought uh, this month, well, April now, we're now in May, are on the back of Discovering Booktube. The first one I bought was um, a slipcase edition of The Poems of Thomas Hardy. I love Thomas Hardy. Here it is, nice hard case burn book. This is a Folio Society edition. I love the Folio Society books. I have a few of theirs. And um, I love Thomas Hardy. So I thought I want some of his poems because I don't have many poetry books. So I thought Thomas Hardy poems to start with. And then I'll start buying a few more Folio Society books later as well as poetry books. The second book I bought this month was The Girl on the Train. Now I know this has been out for ages and ages, but like I said, I don't read a lot of fiction. And um, when I do, it's generally books I've downloaded off of um, kind for the Kindle Amazon app. And I read them on my phone because I've had two Kindles, both of them are broken, I'm not buying another one. So yeah, that was the second book I bought and I really enjoyed that one. Now going back to Hollywood history, I bought Affairs Valentino Special Edition by Evelyn Zumea. But also to go with it, I bought the Affairs Valentino Companion Guide. This is the actual document, as you can see there, reproductions in there. Um, yes, I, I love Valentino as well. Staying with Rudolph Valentino, I also bought Valentino the Unforgotten by Roger C. Peterson, with a forward and afterward by Tracy Ryan Tahoon. Um, basically, this book has been out of print since 1938 um, because. It was only printed once, one bash left the warehouse, and then the warehouse burnt down. So Tracy reissued this with a forward and afterward, and lots of great photos. So another one for my Valentino collection. And the last two books I bought in April, because I don't buy many, I only bought seven, were Weird Things Customers Say in Bookshops, and more Weird Things Customers Say in Bookshops by Jane Campbell. Um, I bought these because I just love these this sort of things, and I know that these sort of things are said by people. I've worked in customer service for a long time, I've worked in contact centres, and I can tell you that these people do say some stupid things. So <laughs> for me, um, from the sense of I've worked in customer service, although not in a bookshop, because that would bankrupt me, 
loved it thought this was brilliant um i have written a review of both of these books and some of the other ones and they will be on the book blog i'm setting up which is called books 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 and it's going to be over at wordpress i will put a link below once i've done it um so yeah so i'm hoping to be back with more bookish stuff and show you some of my books um i could do a bookshelf tour but I've got so many books, it's going to be easier if I split it into sections, say, for instance, fiction, Hollywood, Marilyn, plays, and so on. So, this is my first blog. Be kind. Leave a comment if you want to. If you don't, that's okay. I understand. Um, just let you know, I love books. I love BookTube. I'm glad I found it. Bye!